We are in the final room of the exhibition that we called the workshop room. This space is devoted, among others, to young designers, students of Warsaw Design faculties with whom we collaborated to invite them to execute pieces inspired by the works of Yulia Kailova. We wanted to know if young people would be inspired by what the artist from the previous century has created. As it turns out, they were. Within this project, we cooperated with two Warsaw schools, with the Academy of Fine Arts in Warsaw, design department, and in particular the ceramics design studio under Partwomi Mayor, PhD, from which five students participated. The other one was the School of Form, a design faculty of the SVPS University. Here we had two groups of students from two different paths, domestic design, i.e. young designers who learn to make everyday use objects, and another group of students training in industrial design. The first group worked under the supervision of Ms. Aleksandra Kędziorek and Mr. Bartosz Mucha, while the industrial design group was directed by Ms. Maggie Malinowska and Ms. Sara Bosch. Works of these three groups differ in terms of the techniques used. The ceramics studio worked, of course, in ceramics design, so in this case we have a single material. When it comes to the School of Form Industrial Design Studio, we have items made of metal. And the interesting aspect is that students work with the KUKA robot that pressed and cut metal. Meanwhile, the domestic design group created a varied array of projects in ceramics, metal and wood, sometimes using combined techniques. Let us take a closer look at some of the more compelling projects, although they are all very interesting. The ceramics design studio of the Academy of Fine Arts is where very small, we could even say jewelry-like items were produced. A very interesting idea is Piotr Sodai's porcelain feather, executed in a very decorative manner. Here the artist was inspired by Yulia Kailova's projects related precisely to office accessories, for the use in studies, etc. That was the basic inspiration. Another interesting and very different project is the design by Kaya Okun. The artist named it Objects with Blades. They include knives and a peeler. Here, the artistic form is contained in the handles of these tools, cast in porcelain in a completely contemporary, intense cobalt color. The premise of the entire project was first and foremost the inspiration by Yulia Kailova's work, both in terms of form and function, but of course in relation to the present times, our contemporary needs, so the created projects are related to the table. These are items connected to meals, dishes, as well as writing accessories, office objects, even though the students extended the office aspect to include more contemporary tools. And it is in the domestic design group that we have one of the objects with the most distinctive form, a pedestal or a rest for a laptop. A metal form with a very menacing look that is supposed to go on your lap so that you could place your laptop on it. This was inspired by Yulia Kailova, but altogether in relation to contemporary times. This curious object was made by two young artists, Olivia Głogowska and Matilda Olszewska. Another object that alludes with its form to Yulia Kailova's works, for instance to her platter designs, but with a completely contemporary function, is an item that its creators called a platter at the edge of an era, a phone charger. The authors are Jan Banaszak and Stanisław Woskot. Young creators approached Yulia Kailova's designs in quite a defiant way. Some of them pondered if, in the present context of the overconsumption crisis or the climate crisis, there is a point to design at all. Two of the artists took a very critical look at the profession that they intend to pursue, wondering if being a designer in our times makes sense and is it even a right thing to do to design new objects. They created a slightly Dadaistic form alluding to Yulia Kailova's dishes and they are, as well, in terms of their function, items related to work in the kitchen, graters or juicers. But they created a sculptural form which is supposed to prompt us to reflect whether all these items are actually necessary. These authors of the projects are Zuzanna Orlov and Olivia Popławska. Objects created with the industrial design group were all made of metal. 
Sometimes it is combined with other elements such as blackened wood or plastics. Students work with the help of the KUKA robot program to cut and emboss metal in a specific way. These forms are much larger than the works of domestic design students, which stems simply from the way you would use such a tool. It created very interesting objects as well, both in their forms and function. One of the works is, in terms of its form, very close to the works of Yulia Kailova, even though it is contemporary. Tavern by Liza Nalevaiko and Eva Stacevich alludes to Yulia Kailova's oval forms and it is also based on the contrast between metal and wood that also occurs in Yulia Kailova's work. Alexandra Majewska and Evelina Dzieniniska took the Kailova's inspiration to the present times, the era of consumption, we could say. They created a serving tray. A tray that is shaped to create separate compartments to arrange particular foods in our meals. There are several shapes for pieces of apples, nuts, cookies, pieces of vegetables, so it is a dish designed to help create a fully balanced meal. The tray is pressed from metal with bright pink plastic elements, so it's a completely contemporary Yulia Kailova. <laughs>